and welcome, or welcome back as the case may be. I'm Christine E. Schultz, aka The Elvish, author, author of young adult fantasy books who also likes to react to fantastical things. And y'all know, if you've seen my other videos already, that I am super pumped to be watching another episode with you guys of The Legend of Korra. I love this show so much and we're only four episodes in. I, uh, going into it, didn't have any particular expectations because I've talked to people who just really don't like this show. Um, they love Avatar, but they don't like this show. And I've, you know, encountered people who really do like Korra. When I did my Avatar reactions on the channel, which you guys can also check out if you want, um, there were a lot of people that commented saying, oh, don't watch Korra because it's crap. And maybe, you know, it could get, it could get worse, okay? Just because I love the first four episodes doesn't mean that there won't be flaws in the show. Um, but so far, I'm really into it. I love the characters. I think Korra is a well-drawn character so far. She has flaws. She is impulsive. Um, but at the same time, she's trying to learn, you know, trying to better herself. She has room to grow, which is good to see. You know, it's not relatable to have a main character who is, like, super perfect because that's not who we are as humans. We always have room to grow and things to learn from. So I really like that about her. I like that she's a completely different character from Aang because it would be boring to see the same repeat character. You know, Aang was more thoughtful um, and had his own flaws, whereas Korra, like I said, is just very, very impulsive. Um, so that's her. Uh, in this last episode, we got to see more of how creepy Amon is. I think he's such an effective villain. He has this very personal vendetta, you know, this very personal um, fight for what he thinks is justice, and that makes him creepy. And it also is creepy how confident he is in his own plans. Um, you know, last time we also had Korra being pulled from different sides, you know, being pulled kind of into the political political realm there was that one politician i don't remember his name but basically he wanted her on his side to fight against amon's followers to kind of make him look good and everything um and she signed up for it but at the same time she was terrified poor girl didn't really know what choices to make there and yeah so just really good characters love tenzin and you know his kids and uh bolin <laughs> bolin's kind of a precious bean um, who else do we have? Mako. I think his name is Mako. I feel like I always say his name wrong. I don't know if I do. <laughs> but Mako. And, uh, he met his lady friend last time. And I believe that they were going to give funding to continue to play the games and progress in the, in the tournament. Um, so lots of good stuff happening. So, no clue what's going to happen in this episode. I love that a lot of times, I said this with Avatar too a lot too, that I have no clue what's going to happen this time. I love that. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in. If you're new here, welcome. Feel free to subscribe so that you know when new episodes are coming out. Drop a nice spoiler comment below if you feel like it. It's always great to see y'all's thoughts, whether I respond or not. I do read those, and I do enjoy reading those thoughts. Um, and, uh, drop a like. That helps other people find the video. Also, feel free to check out my social media links, including links to my books if you're looking for a new young adult fantasy read. On that note, let's go ahead and strap on our elf ears and pop in our elf eyes, and let's watch and listen to some more of The Legend of Korra. Oh, it's a child! The spirit of competition. Good, can we have, like, some more, uh, sports? Because, you know, all the villain stuff, there's a lot going on, we need a break. I like this, like, 20s music or whatever we got playing here. It goes well with the, the steampunk vibe. <laughs> oh no. It's just like a love it's just like a whole love triangle, but I don't think there's any situation in which two of these people are interested in each other. <laughs> so like Katara likes Mako. Bolin likes Katara. I keep calling her Katara. Cora, sorry. Um <laughs> it's not good. Are we ready? We're, We're ready. ready. Not quite. You'll need these. Oh boy. Asami. Oh, Cora hates it. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> this is so realistic, though, because in, um, in, in, uh, Avatar, I mean, you still had your romances, right? But, like, Aang was a little bit young. Like, they're all a little bit younger than this. These guys are definitely a little bit older teenagers, and so we're gonna have all of the, like, hormones and relationship issues going on, so... 
Bolin's sweet. Just give him a chance. I don't know. Bolin, you're not very subtle, sweetheart. You're not very good at this. I gotta head back to the air temple to train with Tenzin. See ya. I mean, understandable why you're attracted to Korra, but <laughs> stop torturing the the red panda. So, is he like a red panda and a ferret? Nice guy. Girlfriend sort of way. Great. Mako makes more sense just not. Go for a sami. I was talking about a girlfriend. <laughs> Leave some ladies for the rest of us. It just isn't smart to date a team here, especially during the tournament. She's gonna tell you now, sweetheart. And your priorities straight here, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know, girl. At least don't wreck it until after the tournament. <laughs> Papu's like, please let me go. I'm gonna continue to talk probably episode about how like nice the animation is in this in this series. Like, look at the snow. Look at the soft skyline. It's not going at all. Spending a lot of time together lately. Child. Yeah, I'm not interested in Mako or any romantic stuff. I'm true. <laughs> Prissy, beautiful, elegant, rich girl. Years ago, I was in the exact same situation. With Tenzin? With Tenzin? Oh boy. I love with someone else before you? That's right. I confessed my love to Tenzin. And the rest is history. Wow. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know if it's... A good time for anyone to be professing love in this show. So. Gosh, what if like a mon shows up? Like, what if something happens? It's just really cool how we have like this sport element in this. You know, it's just a completely different interest for the main character to have, and again, just like how Cora is her own person, very different from Aang. Rabaroo's intimidating name. From the papers lately. Yeah, been training. This guy's having too much fun. Alright. Asami's dad is invested in the right team. <laughs> we were really connecting out there in that ring. We've been spending lots of time together. Oh, Mako's gonna be like oblivious. <laughs> Kidnapped family members or fighting chief losses. Asami and I are you? Like you and I oh no! Each other. Oh no! It's too much. It's a little, maybe a little bit too much. A little bit too strong. I'm really sorry. Oh no! I just don't feel the same way about you. Yeah, I think maybe she. Never said anything. He like legit thinks of her as like a bro. So. Congratulations, guys! You were so amazing out there. This is not the right time, Miss Asami. <laughs> so. I don't know if he like legitimately just like only thinks of her as a bro, or if he's kind of like thinking about it. But like right now, right now he seems to just kind of think of her as a a bro. Bolin, this is the wrong, this is the wrong time. We could go get some dinner together, sort of a date situation. <laughs> uh, that's really sweet, but I don't think so. She just got her heart crushed. So. Worthy. Are you kidding me? Trust me, I know we're gonna have so much fun together. You know what? Is Mako thinking about it? Oh, there's so much intrigue okay, here. Sure. Who's the luckiest guy in the world? Right here, Bolin. Oh boy, I don't know. See, I think Mako might feel something, whether he knows it or not. And Katara's I gotta stop calling her that. And Cora's gonna go off with Bolin. And I think that she's gonna end up liking how Bolin feels about her and how he thinks that she's really special, but maybe not having the same feelings for him. Poor guy. I really like Bolin. Someone find Bolin a girlfriend if it's not Cora. Oh, the teenage drama. This, is, this episode's just teenage drama so far. It's a nice breather from the the danger of the previous episode. What is he eating? Some green... Are they like, like seaweed? Or just green noodles? Okay, yeah, Water Tribe food is weird, so... You love Water Tribe food? I love Water Tribe food. Just another reason we are so great together. Don't be too... Don't be too over the top of it, Bowen. Tell me, how'd a couple of amateurs like you luck your way into the tournament? I mean, they're kind of doing pretty good, actually. Avatar. <laughs> you know, Avatar. This guy thinks he's cool. Real programming. Uh, don't be gross. Don't be weird. Go for it. You hit him. This is an example of a brooding character who's not attractive. Zuko at least had attractive qualities. This guy's just, just gross. So. This guy's just an arrogant punk, so. Put <laughs> yourself. Get out of here. 
Oh, Belin, you're so sweet. I don't know if she's gonna be into you, though. <laughs> like, she is definitely having a good time, but I don't know if she's gonna like him in the same way. I mean, I kind of wouldn't be mad about it because Bolin's really sweet, but. What kind of game are you playing? You're not worried about him. I mean, she thinks he's jealous. You is he though? Swimming. What? Jealous? <sighs> you like me. I don't even think he would know if he likes you. <laughs> so. Yeah, but sure you're thinking about me, aren't you? Get over yourself. You're crazy. You're a liar. They're perfect. <laughs> They're perfect for each other. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, y'all better not let this throw y'all off, off your game. The Porcupines. I love the show. Ah, uh, yep, see? They're gonna be off their, off their game. I do understand if Mako does want to look out for Bolin. Like, obviously, Korra doesn't want to give Bolin the wrong idea. Which I feel like could happen and might actually end up happening. Um, you know. Like I said, I think Cora enjoys his Bolin's company. Yeah, they're not not in sync at all. Should have saved all the romance talk till after the tournament. <laughs> Win the coin toss. I'm gonna take this one. Belen is actually probably the best option because those two. <laughs> All right, Belen, show some skills. Okay. All thanks to Belen, but okay. <laughs> so. Do you know, Mako? As much as you drive me crazy, I also think you're pretty amazing. I like Asami too. I don't know. Things oh, are no. <laughs> that could add a clear confusion or add a bunch of more a bunch more confusion. Oh, she's there, isn't she? Oh no, baby. Poor baby. See, nobody likes Bolin. Can we get him a girlfriend? Oh no! Great. Look what you did. You're blaming me. You came to talk to her about it. Okay, Mako's like low key just being kind of annoying. So, poor baby. I love. I like Bolin a lot. He's so sweet. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, younger me would have like absolutely gone for Mako, but I think like more mature me would go for Bolin. He's so sweet. He's. I'm not saying that Mako doesn't have any good qualities, but I think... Oh, sweetheart, okay. Call me that. You're not my brother. Oh, no. You're a brother betrayer. No. Babu is gone. Babu looks just like... You're a mess, and we've got the biggest match of our lives tonight. I told you dating a teammate was a bad idea. You're a bad idea. Okay, Mako. That's the wrong line right now, considering y'all were kissing, so... <laughs> that's not helpful. Oh no. Well, nobody's gonna be able to play now. Like, Bolin's not gonna be able to save it. Oh no. He's gonna hurl. This is his new. No. <laughs> Flamey Ellen, no! This is not the time. A good reference to the Flamey O, but this is not the time, so. Oh, let's go, Cora. And the avatar is slapped with the yellow fan. The way we're playing, we don't even deserve to be in the finals. <sighs> well, we don't you gotta, I gotta say, you guys gotta pull together. We'll never forgive ourselves. Come on, Cora. Like are we? Y'all's fighting. Of course we are. I mean, you guys need to talk about it, but. 
Messing up like the one thing that you really want too. Girls. <laughs> what an unbelievable effort here by Cora. She's dodging every element the walk. Cora probably feels bad about the whole boy situation anyway. Let's see if she can pull this pull this off for him. All three of them at once. Woo! Can we get him to the, the hospital? Pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen. Thanks for not giving up on us. Oh boy. But if it hadn't been for you and your father, we wouldn't have had the chance to play. Yeah. So thank you. Well, we had fun together, didn't we? I had a great time. Honestly. Yeah, you guys should have fun. Like, oh, see, he does need encouragement, whether you're gonna date him or not. Like, he needs to know that. <laughs> he needs encouragement. Great, great. Round one knockout. The defending champs secure their spot in the finals. I hope the ferrets know a good doctor because they're gonna need one. Oh my. All right, so that was another lovely, lovely episode of The Legend of Korra. Um, I will say it was nice after the last two episodes in which we just had a lot of just really tense things going on with Amon and all of that. It was nice to have an episode where we only just focused on characters, character development, relationships, <laughs> hot messes. Um, you know, I do think that Mako maybe feels something for Korra, but maybe he genuinely just, yeah, he does kind of like her and kind of likes Asami at the same time. I hope he does. I hope he doesn't. And, and, you know, sometimes it takes these messes to figure your own feelings out. So I'm not even like knocking him. I think, I think, you know, these shows are always good at like not showing perfect characters, showing characters with flaws, showing characters that have to grow and learn from their mistakes. And um, I think that he probably does generally like both Kor and Asami in different ways. I think that he also maybe envies the type of life that Asami and her father lead, the, the type of life they've been able to build for themselves. And I think that he probably really looks up to that as well. I'm not saying that he doesn't genuinely like Asami, but I feel like he also is probably very drawn to that world as well and hoping that he could also like create that for himself one day. Um, but yeah, you've got that. I just, Bolin's just really, it's really precious. Bolin reminds me of a couple different people that I know in real life. And so he's just really a precious being. Um, and we need to find him a girl, whether it's Korra or not. So yeah, it's just really nice seeing the relationships and uh, we've got the complications. <laughs> we've got the complications. Um, but I like that they, you know, are still friends. I like that Cora gave him some encouragement at the end, whether she ha has the capability to like him like that or not. It's still nice for her to acknowledge like, hey, but you're, you're really, you're a really special person too. Um, so yeah, I liked it. It was a fun time. It was a fun breather, refresher from all of the bad stuff we have going on in the world. <laughs> uh, so yeah, on that note, thank you again so much for being here. Happy watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.